Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video, you are going to learn different ways to convert decimal number to a hexadecimal number. In this section, we will use binary as a bridge to convert decimal number to a hexadecimal. So first, we need to convert a decimal value to a binary number, then convert binary to hexadecimal. Let's say we have a decimal value of 158. So first, let's convert 158 to binary and let's put the place values. This is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Let's put one more, 256. And where are these numbers coming from? 2 to the power of bit position. So bit position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 to the power of 0 it's 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, and why 2? Because of binary, binary we have zeros and 1s, so we want to convert 158 to binary, and then from binary going to hexadecimal number, so let's erase this. Okay, so for 158 decimal, which one do we have to turn on to get our binary numbers? So 158 minus 256, if we get negative value it's off, which it is, 158 minus 256 we get negative value so it's off or in another word we can say if it is greater than or equal to 256 it's on therefore 158 it's not greater than or equal to 256 so it's off what about 128 does 158 greater than or equal 128 it is it is greater so let's write down one here and what is our new value so 158 minus 128 this is 0, this is 3, and this is 0. So it gives us 30. Now this is our new number. So does 30 greater than or equal 64? No, it's not. If we subtract 30 minus 64, we get negative value, so we put 0. This one also, 30, it's not greater than 32, so it's off. 30 is greater than 16, so it's on. What is our new value? 30 minus 16. 14. So 14 is our new value. Does 14 greater than 8? Yes. So we turn on 14 minus 8 to get our new value, which is 6. Now this is our new value. 6 is greater than 4, so it's on. 6 minus 4, 2. This is our new value. 2 is greater than or equal to. Yes. So it's on. 2 minus 2, 0. This is our new value. And of course, when we get to zero, we stop and the rest of the numbers is zero. So this is our binary number for 158 hexadecimal number. Now we have our binary. Let's write down our binary here. So what we need to do next, we have to count right to left every four and separate. One, two, three, four, separate. One, two, three, four, separate. Why every four? Because for every hexadecimal, we have four bits. Now let's put the values for the hexadecimal. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. Because this is for the hexadecimal, it's 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. Here it was the binary, so it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on. It continues. Okay, now we can see in this group, 8 plus 1, that's 9, because 8 is turned on and 1 turned on, so that's 9. And here we have 8 turned on, 4 turned on, and 2 turned on. So 8 plus 4, that's 12, plus 2, that's 14. Now what is 14 in hexadecimal? So hexadecimal numbers, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, F which A in hexadecimal is equivalent to 10 decimal, B to 11, C to 12, and so on. Okay, now here we have 14. So 14 is equivalent to E in hexadecimal. We just need to put E here. Therefore, 158 decimal number is equivalent to 9E hexadecimal number. Now in this section, we will use successive division technique to convert decimal to hexadecimal number. Okay, here let's use 158, same decimal number, 
that we used earlier to convert it to hexadecimal number using successive division technique. What we need to do, we need to write 158 divided by 16 because hexadecimal number is base 16 system, which is 9.875. We need to find the remainder. So in order to get the remainder, we just need to multiply 16, multiply 0 0.875, which is 14. Now let's write 9 divided by 16, which is 0 0.5625. And to get the remainder, 16 times this which is actually the same value of 9, since 9 is less than 16. So we can just simply write 9 here. So here to the top is the least significant bits, and to the bottom is the most significant bits. And we need to write it going from bottom to top. In this case, 9, 14. And what is 14? 14 is E. So it is 9 E. And as we can see here, so anytime by using successive division technique, we can directly convert decimal number to hexadecimal number. Let's take a look using calculator. So we have decimal number of 158. Let's change the view to programmer. Decimal is selected, 158. And here we can see for the hex is 9e. This was a quick overview of using different ways to convert decimal number to hexadecimal number. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.